Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and grab our Parrot uh, Bebop 2 drone. And then we're gonna make sure that we also have our sky controller. This is a bit of a different one. Not sure if you can quite see this, but this is what we have as our sky controller. So um, it does work for any different versions. This is just the one that I have, and this is the one I'm gonna be using in this tutorial. So just kind of follow along with me here. So first, we're gonna just take our first battery here. We're gonna go ahead and pop that in. Just go ahead and just go ahead and flick on that power switch. That should turn red button right there. And then we can go ahead and put that to the side for now. And then we're gonna take our parrot and our second battery. Go ahead and pop that in. All you gotta do to turn this on is just just click it, and then it should be should be good. It'll start um, the fans will start going, and it'll it'll beep a few times. It'll go silent, and then uh, we'll hear the fan turn back on. So just give it a second, and there we go fan is back on so what we can now do is I am just going to switch this over to my phone here and we're just gonna go from this point okay so now we're on my phone um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead of head over to internet and first what you're gonna want to do is uh, simply have uh, both of your parrot and your sky controller on you're gonna you're gonna start off by connecting to Sky Controller or the Bebop 2 in any order, the internet connection, and you're gonna go ahead and forget each of them. That's how you're gonna kind of reset this uh, connectivity issue that way. So after you've forgotten both of them, you're gonna go over to the Free Flight Pro app, let that load up, and then first thing you're gonna want to do is go ahead and connect to the Sky Controller. So once we've connected to the Sky Controller, we are going to go ahead and head back to the app, the Free Flight Pro app. Now you're going to go to Connect. We can obviously see that the controller is connected on the top right there. And then we're going to go find our Bebop 2 connection, and it's loading up perfectly. And then again, if it doesn't load up on the app, then you can always just press Forget on the Bebop 2 connection, and you can always just start over that way. Usually you'll get it in about two tries, so just kind of the best way to, yeah, see we got that connected, camera's working and everything, so yeah, that's about it. Hopefully that uh, little video helped you guys, so now you should be able to uh, safely fly your Bebop 2 drone. Um, on the other side, I would kind of watch out for flying your drone uh, anywhere between 25 and 30 meters. I've noticed once you hit the 30 meter mark, uh, it usually cuts out. So even though it says a max altitude of 150 meters, I would still kind of watch out for that. So just kind of fly your drone around that 25 range and, and you should be all right. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.